interviewer has given you this code base and ask you to apply the single responsibility principle to it. You usually have 20 to 30 minutes to do this. If you are not sure what is SRP, I mean single responsibility pattern is and how to apply it in React component, don't worry. In this video, I'll teach you about single responsibility pattern and how to use it in this component. Now let's learn what is single responsibility principle. Single responsibility principle in React component means that each component should have one specific job or responsibility. It should do one thing and do it well. I want you to write this sentence. A React component should have one specific job or responsibility. Only one. And it should do one thing and do it well. I want you to keep it in mind this sentence. This makes the component easier to understand, test and maintain. For example, if you have a component that handles displaying a list items, it should only focus on the task and not handle unrelated tasks like fetching data or managing state. By keeping component focused, your code stays clean and organized. Now if I want to summarize in one sentence, I would say a React component should have one specific job to keep the code clean, understandable and easy to maintain. I want you to write this sentence in your notebook because interviewer not only ask you to implement the code, they might ask what is SRP and they will expect you to explain about SRP. Now let's learn single responsibility pattern with an example. Here in this example, the item list component, if you can closely observe, it handle three tasks. First, handling state, fetching data, and also displaying the content to the users. That means it's responsible for doing three tasks, right? But if you remember in the previous slide, SRP allows a React component should have only one task or responsibility. But in this example, our item list component contains three major tasks, handling state, fetching data, and displaying content to the users. Now question to you, do you think this item list component satisfying single responsibility principle? Trust me, 80% React developer write the code in this fashion. Now let's see how we can make this component with single responsibility principle. Interesting, right? If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. Your support means a lot to me. Please do it. Okay, let's move. Let's see how we can make this component with SRP. If I want to build this component, item list component with SRP, what I would do, I would split this component into a two component. One for fetching data and another one for displaying the list. Here is the example code base. Here you can see, I have already made two component. One is items container and another one is item list. Items container responsible to fetching data and store this data in a state. And item list component takes this data as a props and only displaying the data to the users. By making these two component, if you closely observe, these two component are responsible for only doing one task. Items container fetching the data and item list displaying the data to the users. It's easy, right? Just keep it concentrated. Today I'll teach you a lot about SRP. You'll never forget. Trust me, you'll never forget. It's super easy. What I need from you, just keep the concentrate. If you understand till this part, believe me, just now you learned about SRP. That's it. This is SRP. Now you know what is SRP, how it applies in the React component, right? But wait, still one more part is left. Interviewer given you the code, right? Remember, we need to make that component with single responsibility principle. Let's do it. To refactor this code according to the single responsibility principle, we will separate the concern into distinct component. One component will handle the fetching user data. Another will handle the post data. Let's make a component directory inside the src folder. Let's create two folder, one for users and one for post.
Let's create user container.js file. If you notice here, I have already separated fetching users function from the parent component. Here, in the users container component, was responsible to fetch the user list and keep this data inside the state. And this state will pass it to the users list as a props. Let's create user list component inside the users folder. Here I'm receiving the users array as a props and I'm mapping this users array and displaying the content to the users. Now if you closely look at here, users containers only responsible for fetching the data and stored it in the state, it is doing only one task, right? It is fetching the data and pass it to the user list component and the user list component is responsible for the displaying data to the users. Let's do the same thing for the post container. Let's create a file postcontainer.js. Now here I did the same thing that I have done in the users container.js. I also separated the data fetching logic from the parent component to post container.js. Here this component will only fetch the data and data will pass it to the post list.js file as a props. Let's create a file post list.js. Here I have received the data as a props and displaying to the users. Now if you can remember instead of one component we have separated it to the four components. One is users container.js, one is users list.js, one is post container.js and another one is post list.js. Each component is doing one single task or responsibility we could say. User container is fetching the user list, passing the data to the user list component as props. Same post container is fetching the post list and passing the data to the post list component as props. User list and post list both are receiving data as a props and displaying the content to the users. Now if I want to modify the parent component, here dashboard is my parent component. Here you can see the parent component is how we. Now if we change it. now. If you can notice it's only 14 right previously it was 68 you can see how srp makes our whole app clean readable and understandable code right if you understand this part trust me you have already learned single responsibility principle and i have told you 80 percent react developer don't apply the single responsibility principle in their code base that's why it is so much popular interview question asked in the lot of big tech companies. I believe whoever watching this video, they'll never forget what is SRP and how to apply it in the React component. If you enjoy this video, I would request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.